Hey guys, did y'all just see me, y'all? <laughs> How ghetto. Um, but Not Your Average Church Girl has joined, and I'm super excited that we have my sister, Miss Leading Lady, Christine Lockridge herself. I'm super, super excited. Hey, Chris, you can send a, hi, mom, um, a request at any time. Matter of fact, I will definitely try to do it. Let me see. There we go. I'm super excited for tonight, y'all. My guest is super amazing. Sister! Hey, hey girl, hey, hey, hey. I want to be like you. I Listen. just, I got cute for you. You cute all the time. I just want to be cute for you. I'm super Here we excited are. that you made time for me. Listen, I have to. This is important. You this made is time important. for me. You're a very busy person. You know what? I'm You're not busy. busy. I'm productive. I'm productive. You are productive. I'm making sure I can hear. Yeah, that's that's my phrase. I'm not busy. I'm productive because no. busy has a negative no, connotation. Uh -huh. So yeah. <laughs> yes, you are correct. My husband corrects me all the time and say, "Courtney, being busy is not always a good thing." So productive is yeah. the correct word. Yes. Yes. So use that. I'm not busy. I'm productive. Yeah. I'm not busy. Look I am her fine hair. I'm super super excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. Thank you for that you inviting are here, me. <laughs> Definitely. Cheers. Listen, give us a little bit about who you are, what you do, and then we got some questions. And guys, if you have anything for Christine, definitely make sure that you comment them below and I will keep up with the comments. The questions have been going crazy live. So if you want to know anything, definitely just write it and I will catch it and I will read it. Hello, everybody. I am Christine J.K. Lockridge, and I am the founder of Not Your Average Church Girl. Um, that is a ministry that supports single women with the support of Mary Mentors. And that is really my heart, my joy, and I love it. And the women a part of the ministry are amazing. And a lot of the women have not grown up in church on the pew like I have. Um, some of them have, some of them haven't. And it's a ministry where it's non-judgmental. And a lot of the issues yeah. that um, we don't talk about in the church or they say, you know, stop shacking up or stop doing this or stop doing that. But they don't tell you why or give you the tools of mm -hmm. how to get out of a bad situation. Um, this is what that ministry mm -hmm. does. So if you have questions about those things, we answer those. And our slogan is we have transparency, accountability and love. So that's just a little bit about my tribe church girl. And I do other things too. I, I love have a it. Real natural average church girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got on the natural. We got on this hat today. I'm so glad you made me yes. aware of that today. <laughs> what if you have questions about anything else? I'm here, but I'm just making sure that I'm staying on the task of these questions. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm super excited uh -huh. that I have you, Chris, because. Before I go over any questions, I'm going to just say I personally thank God for you because, you know, when we had the whole thing that I was a part of, you seen some stuff in me that I didn't even know was there mm -hmm. spiritually. The the names and the, the women in the Bible that you taught me about, now that I am grown and married with my own children, I'm like, oh, my goodness, Christine's seen this. Back when I was graduating high school. So well, I just personally thank God for you because you see and you hear and I'm grateful for it. Glory Very to God. Right. So it's all you. him. I promise you. It is all him. I'm like, why is she in my business? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, when you have the real Holy Ghost, you can hear things. Yes. You can hear things. The real Holy Ghost. But yeah. The real Holy Ghost. Well, I'm no just going to jump right in. We got some very good questions from some ladies. And I even got some questions from some men this time on. Wow. Race. Okay. Yes. I was super shocked, okay. you know, that some men was like, hey, I want to be a part. Yeah. You know, and that's where some of the questions came from. So I'm going to just start off right off the bat. Okay. I got a question that says, when trying to read the Bible and figure out faith in God, where to, where do we start reading? Do we jump right mm -hmm. to Genesis? Do we just let the Bible open up itself and we just start reading mm -hmm. wherever it lands? How, do, how mm -hmm. does that work? That's a good question. Um, I've had people say, like, do you start at Genesis all the way through? And my biggest thing is read what you need. Mm. Read what you need. So if yeah. you are struggling 
if you're struggling with does God even exist? What does it mean to be saved? Mm -hmm. It's so easy to boot. So easy to touch base with a man and say, hey, I need these scriptures and try to search the scriptures for yourself. So really, you know, read what you need. Beyond salvation, if I'm struggling with depression, if I'm struggling with anxiety, um, those are scriptures that I need to Google. Okay, scriptures on this. Um, another thing that I mm -hmm. mentioned, too, is there's nothing new under the sun. A lot of things that you go through, that I go through, they're already in the Word. They're already in yes. biblical stories. So focus on Esther. Mm -hmm. Focus on Ruth and Boaz. Focus on yes. specific stories. You know, if you're going through a lot of turmoil, maybe you should read about Job. Yes. You know what I mean? So you read stories to encourage you. So my, my first thing is read what you need. You know, it, it, maybe starting mm -hmm. Genesis is not going to help. Reading Revelation, you're going to need right. a lot of understanding. So read what mm -hmm. you need because the word will keep you, but you just got to read it and you need to read what you need. So that's my thing. It's so simple. That, read what you need. That is very simple. Um, and of course, me growing up in church, my father being a pastor, you know, being there literally every day of the week. Mm -hmm. My teaching of, of, of reading the Bible, I just heard it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But now that I'm older, now I know. I need to read on how to be a wife. Because mm -hmm. the Bible will tell me what right. to do. Right. How to raise children. How to be a good steward. So that is a right. great point. Read what you need. Read what you need. Wow. Read what you need. Like because that. some of it you may not understand. And there's, I mean... You know, I've grown up in the church. I, like you said, when you get older, you start to read for yourself. Because some of the stuff that's mm -hmm. being said on the pulpit is really not in the Bible. It's just cliches and phrases that mm -hmm. you've heard over the years. It's not the word. And like a small yeah. word in the scripture, if you say it wrong, you don't really understand that you change the entire meaning. So, yeah, girl, read what you mm. need. Read what you need. I like read that. Now, need. I'm going to go right into this mm -hmm. next question. Reading what you need. Say somebody was battling with depression. Mm -hmm. What are, what are some good ways to combat depression or suicide? Got you. With being a um, Christian, that's a, low, a, a Christian, right? Person. No, no, I got you. Because you can be saved and be depressed or suicidal. It's very real. Um, so my first yeah. thing is finding out what the root of the issue is. What's the root mm -hmm. of my depression? Is my depression always happening after I break up with somebody? Is it when something mm -hmm. doesn't go my way? Like really figuring out what is the root of it? You know, is it stemmed back from a childhood issue? When you can find the root, you can target that in prayer. So my first thing is try to find the mm -hmm. root of the issue, pray about it, find scriptures that you can read mm -hmm. out loud. And I also am a big person that believes in counseling. Um, if you need counseling. emotional assistance, yeah, because... The word will keep you, don't get me wrong, um, you know, finding the root. But a lot of that, people need to go to counseling and to deal with some of those issues. Because sometimes you can't figure out the root of why you're having this issue. Um, and for those who are battling suicide, mm -hmm. I definitely say counseling and accountability. If you deal with depression on a consistent basis, um, and I've dealt with depression as well before, you know, I have my people who I can say, yo, I'm feeling bad, you know. And you can have yeah. your skill one to five. Five is like, I'm going to take myself out. One is, I'm yes. just starting to feel depressed. And, you, and you know, I can say, mm -hmm. Court, I'm on a five. You're going to know yeah. it's time to intercede. It's time to go to Christine's apartment. It's time to figure out if we need to check her in somewhere. Mm -hmm. So if you know it's something that you battle yeah. with on a consistent basis, you got to be real with yourself mm -hmm. and say, this is the help. I need counseling. I need accountability. Yeah. Um, to tell people like this is this is where I'm at because it's a real feeling. You can still be saved, have the Holy Ghost, all that, go to church, but the pressures of life mm -hmm. can weigh you down, and you're like, Lord, yes. where are you? It happens, and I know some you know young people have taken their lives, but they were saved, and so it's yeah. so important to get the counseling. It's so important to say, I'm not okay, and once you have those core mm -hmm. people who you can trust. They're going to pick up in the spirit or when they don't hear from you, yes. like they're going to be able to catch on and be like something wrong with Christine. I'm going to go by her apartment. I'm going to call her. Yeah. So you really have to, you, you know, if you want the help, the help is there. You just got to get it. And, yeah. and you, 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 you have yes. to get it. So, um, but it's real. It's real, but for sure, get the help that you need. Go to counseling, get the accountability and read mm -hmm. your word. 
that's those and are sometimes all great points. Yeah, and sometimes if it's that bad, you need to like spend the night at somebody's house. If you if you feel like taking yourself out, you need to be like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm coming by. And you may not even yeah. have to verbalize that once you have your core people who know what you deal with. Mm. So you know, I just seen a lay on the. Floor. Yeah. The uh, I believe that's called. They're not alone because the, the devil attacks us. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead say the it again. devil attacks us. Uh uh-uh, go ahead. I'm not. Yeah, gonna the die. devil attack. Sorry, the devil. The devil attacks us when we're alone. That's where he attacks us. Even okay. even outside of suicide, he attacks us when we're alone. We don't have accountability. It's like mm-hmm. you know, you should go do such and such. You should go see so and so. You should go here. Yes. He attacks us in our mind when we're by ourselves. So mm-hmm. that's why it's so important to have accountability. That is so true, accountability. And I like that because the Bible does say where two or three are gathered. So you mm-hmm, really mm-hmm. need to have somebody else right there right. with you that knows what's going on, mm-hmm. that can be a good secret keeper because mm-hmm. you don't want your business all out there. So right. that is true, accountability. Right. Mm-hmm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I want you to break down this. Faith without works is dead. Uh-huh. Break that down a little bit. That was one of the questions that we received. What What does that entitle? What does that really mean? So to me, faith is action. So if you have faith, you're going to have some sort of action, right? So if you believe that Jesus Christ mm-hmm. on the cross for your sins, you're going to do something about your salvation. So you have you believe in him, so your, your mm-hmm. salvation is going to come thereafter. You're going to make a choice to live for him. Whatever goal you have in mind, whatever you're looking for God to do, mm-hmm. you have to make some sort of, you have to do something as simple as I want to have a school. Yes. So I do story time. I don't have a building now, but I have the faith that I will. And in order to have a building, I have to do things to show mm-hmm. people what that building will consist of, not just what it looks like, but the quality of education. If yes. you are asking God for a financial breakthrough, you can have the faith to do that. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory through <laughs> no Christ point. Jesus, right? That's the word. However, yes. if I keep racking up a credit card, what kind of action is that showing? Am I at least trying to pay the minimum or a little bit more to get out my of Lord. debt? So this faith thing is not just, you know, spiritual. It's also in the, in the natural thing. If I have the faith that mm-hmm. God is going to send me somebody who loves him, then, then why I'm, why the, why why yeah. do we pick who we pick? Why? why do we do what we do? Right. So faith yeah. is you know without faith it's impossible to please the Lord, but it's action. Mm-hmm. So you have to have it's some action. sort of action. You have anything? You have to fast. You have to pray. You have to do. You you gotta do something. You, you, you do have something. to. If I want to lose weight, but I keep eating junk food and don't walk outside, there's no action. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So sometimes we over spiritualize this and it's so simple. If you have the faith in the Lord, great. So Mm -hmm. he wants to see some action so that he can bring you to another level. It is so very simple. You know, some of us, we just lack discipline. We lack discipline, Discipline. which is why we don't, we don't show any action because I don't, I don't want to stop shopping. I don't want to stop eating. I don't really want to wait for the person you have for me. So we have faith, but there's no action. Mm. No we action. have faith, but there is no action. No action. I gotta write that down because no, that's, that's not. good. We all we have faith, but there is no action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We we just yeah. It's by what you know. It's by and what it's by, you know. It's by what you know, and we know that the Lord is faithful. He's proven that plenty of times. Yeah. So we know that He's faithful. So it's just a matter of being patient. Mm-hmm. and waiting maybe you want to go to school now but he wants you to go to school in a year right. maybe i want a building now but he's saying you got to wait two years but but he knows best he knows best my husband just he knows best. feel the fear and do it anyway our bishop mm-hmm. preaches that and we live by that feel the fear and you gotta mm-hmm. do it and anyway. just do it and do it and do it because wow. there's so and this and now this is going to sound like a cliche but it's true Mm-hmm. What God has put in us, somebody else needs it. Mm-hmm. Somebody else needs it. So, and then 
not only do they need it, you went through the experience, and then you can yes. tell them, I had fear, I had doubt, but my faith overcame it, and I put action to it. People yes. need to hear, they need, they need to also hear the story of how you got to where you got. It's easy to be like, oh my goodness, you have not tried a church girl. Yeah, but do you, do you know the turmoil? You don't know, but I can tell you if you want to know. Yeah. But people, people can look at you and be like, oh my God, she's been doing this talk all week. But you went through some stuff before this, during this, and you will after. Why? Because you saw a vision and you made it plain. You did what you needed to do. And so the enemy fights us when we're obedient. Wow. I'm because done. we actually went out on faith action. You know, we have this whole week of conversation. You went out on faith and you did it. Now, I'm I sure if you're like, oh, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? But but you did it. And there's more yeah. things to come. And the purpose of it is for us to go from faith to faith. So you did this, now, okay, I can do this. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna have the Courtney talk show. Oh, now I'm gonna yeah. have this. Oh, now I'm gonna have that. Right? Yeah, for me, y'all can, can go. For <laughs> so, <laughs> me, y'all can go. <laughs> so you just, you just, yeah, I mean, yeah. And so, but people, yeah. Sorry, that wasn't probably part of the question, but. But no, Here we are. that was on it. My my um brother in law, in -law he said confirmation. So I know. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Definitely. I'm telling you. People and then people hate, but they have no idea what goes behind the background. They have no idea, and they think it's peaches and cream. But I tell you one thing: leadership is not a joke. If if you're really my called God. to do it, it's it's not a joke by any means. If you're in it for the people, for the, like for people to be saved. For yeah. you to be impacted, if you're in it for the right thing, it is not a joke. Mm. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Wow, Chris. You, it's not. You came on here just for me. Y'all can go. <laughs> Look, can go. <laughs> you are just so funny. Me. Guys, if y'all have any questions, definitely make sure y'all write them down because she's going to be able to tell you <laughs> what you need to hear. You came on here for me. I'm black. I, I knew you would be. The, God told me to use you for faith. He told me that. So well, amen. I'm super, amen. Super excited. Amen. Everybody, go follow Not Your Average mm -hmm. Church Girl on Facebook, Ooh, mm -hmm. on Insta Instagram. Mm -hmm. My best friend Ariane, our our Tuesday guest, she said, "Send her your earrings." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I do sell paparazzi she jewelry, so I'm I'm going live on Facebook after this. So, just so y'all know. Y'all, she will be live on Facebook, so make sure y'all go friend her. She is a very productive woman that loves the Lord for real. I try to. Not the fact love the Lord. For real, y'all. Tuesday nights, 6 p.m. Catch me on Facebook with my sister friend. At the Courtney Night Show. The Courtney Night Show. Show. Sure.